Hey guys, Mrs. C here. It is a sunny May afternoon here in Kansas. And I'm standing in front of our barn. Actually, I'm standing at the side of our barn. How do you like that old barn? Great Uncle Leonard built that barn out of an old livery stable that was in McCune many, many years ago. He brought the wood here from McCune, which is about 10 miles to the south of us. And he took that old lumber and he built this barn here on the farm at Hickory Creek Farm. Now this barn he built here probably 85, 90 years ago. So it's been standing a long time here at Hickory Creek Farm. And before that, it stood a long time as a livery stable in McCune. So if you'll take a look at that barn, it's looking kind of old and it needs some repair. And the repair we're working on today is trying to keep the tin from blowing off in our good old Kansas wind a few more years. Now, if you haven't priced construction materials lately, you might not know, but tin that we use on the roof is really, really expensive right now. So we really don't have the money to retin it. So we're just getting up there on the roof today to try to nail down those loose pieces of tin that roof going for another couple of years at least till we can put a new roof on it. And our brave construction worker today is John. You see him up there? Whoa. John, how's it going? Okay. Is it a long way up there? Quite a ways. Quite a ways. It is a long way. I don't know about you, but I am afraid of heights. I would be shaking in my shoes if I were up on top of that barn. Now, heights is not John's favorite thing either, but on the farm, a lot of times you have to do things you don't wanna do just because it needs to be done. So if you will notice, he's hanging on to that blue rope. We have tied that rope to the fence post on the other side of the barn in the barn lot. And that is a safety rope. He is attached to a safety harness by that rope so if he slips and falls technically he's not supposed to hit the ground but we're not going to try that out today hopefully we're doing the best we can to be safe and to get the job done all at once you may be wondering what I am doing over there with this piece of equipment. Sometimes John will drop a nail and it'll, or a screw or an old rusty nail from the past and it'll go all the way down the road and land on the ground. And we really don't want a lot of nails and screws that we might step on or the animals could eat. So we bring this magnetic finder out and we run it along the ground it's on wheels and this is a magnetic strip and when we run it across a snail or a screw it sticks to it and then we can pick it up isn't that a cool cool piece of equipment life simple pleasures well john is working hard up there on the roof Look what's going on over here. Those calves have not a care in the world. The goats are sleeping peacefully, enjoying this Kansas sunshine. They got it made, don't they? a few more years perhaps or at least maybe a few more months <laughs> hopefully a 
tell me, John, if you hadn't have gotten up there and screwed out some more of those pieces of loose tin, what would have happened? It's hard to say. Someone could have torn it off. Okay, I have noticed another old barn close to us, and it started out with just one piece of loose tin, and every wind that comes along, it loosens a few more, and once you get one all the way off, then what happens? Piece of tin. Just one right after the other. And then what happens to the barn? Gets wet and falls in, <laughs> yeah. rots away. It makes the wood rot that's holding, the, 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 the uh, tin is screwed to, it makes the wood rot. And once that wood starts to rot, then you have no barn anymore. You have to keep repairing your barn or you won't have any barn to repair over a matter of time. So we are thankful for Johnny today and all of his hard work Courageous work getting up on top of that tall barn and we're gonna sign off now and we want you to remember to hit that like button and subscribe to catch more fun adventures at Hickory Creek Farms. Bye!